Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fastway Flip Automatic Fold-Up Jack Foot. It's available for 2-inch jacks with a 4-inch extension, rated at 1,600 pounds, part number FA88-00-4500. It's also available with a 6-inch extension, rated at 1,400 pounds, part number FA88-00-6500. And for 1 and 3 quarter inch jacks, with a 6 inch extension rated at 1400 pounds, part number FA88 00-6525. Does this setup look familiar? Then you need to ditch the wood blocks and do things the fast way. With the flip automatic fold up jack, you don't have to do anything other than raise or lower your jack, it takes care of the rest. You can see as we raise the jack, it's going to tuck up nicely underneath our trailer. As you can see, it's locked into place. You can feel secure with it going down the road. And our foot stays tucked up on its own. When you reach your destination, no blocks of wood, you just lower your jack. It's gonna lower into place and provide you that lift you need. It provides an extra lift so you don't have to spend that strenuous time trying to get your jack down. And it comes with a six inch by four and a half inch foot plate already installed. No pins or clips needed, it's a permanent installation. It's made out of a sturdy steel construction. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. I've got my trailer here set up on some jack stands. First thing you want to do is retract your jack all the way up as far as you can go. And we need to be sure that we have under two and a quarter inches of our jack sticking out. So I'll grab my tape measure here and it's sticking out of the sleeve here about an inch and a quarter. So we're good. If you have any more than two and a quarter inches, you'll have to cut it. The reason for that is if we have too much, it will not fold up correctly. So what you need for this job is a block of wood big enough to where the foot can hang off the edge like so. So when we get it positioned, we want to make sure that it's parallel with our trailer straight back. And we're going to scoot it all the way up and we're going to lower the jack down to this portion here. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get it lined up with our pilot holes here. That's what we're going to be drilling through. So if we've got it in there, we want to make sure that it's all the way this way as far as it'll go up to this plate here. And we want to check to make sure that it's still parallel with our trailer. And then we want to lower our jack down just to put weight on it. That way it doesn't move. Now when you do all this, you will of course want to make sure that your trailer is level. That way when you drill out your pilot holes, it'll be going straight through. So to drill out our pilot hole, we'll need a 3 16 drill bit. Let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to drill one side and then move to the other side. Now with our pilot holes drilled out, let's go ahead and retract our jack. Now we just need to retract it just enough so we can get our flip jack out and we're going to drill right through there with a half inch drill bit. Now with our half inch drill bit installed, let's go ahead and drill out our pilot holes. Now if you run into a position where there are lots of burrs, you could just ream it out. If you don't have a reamer, then you could just use a file. Cool. Now let's do the same thing for the other side. Now with both sides drilled out and cleaned out, let's go ahead and grab our flip up jack and our hardware. Now if we were working with a square jack, we would not use the spacer ring. But since we're working with a round, we're going to go ahead and put that ring on, followed by our flip up jack. We'll line up the holes. And once we got the holes lined up, we'll grab our bolt. We're going to put on a flat washer, put that through, followed by another flat washer, and then the nut. Now let's tighten it down securely. I'm using a 3 quarter inch wrench and socket wrench. What we want to do is we want to tighten it all the way down and then loosen it just enough to where we can get full movement in the flip up jack. So we can see we've just got it a little too tight there. We'll just back it off a little bit and then we should have it. Now once we've got it snug enough to where it can still move freely, 
and all the play is out of the flip-up jack, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and lubricate around the bolt and underneath the spacer here. It can just kind of help it move a little bit more freely and easily. So we're just gonna spray it down just a little bit here. You wanna be sure to use a non-petroleum-based lubricant. Then anything extra we have there, we can just wipe off. Now we can try it out. All the way down, continue to go up. Works great. Now that we've tested it with it all the way down, let's go all the way up. Awesome. And that's gonna complete our look at the Fastway Flip Automatic Fold-Up Jack Foot.